Hi everyone, I wanted to create this tutorial to help you. Normally, I take time to edit my recordings before I post them, but because the audition is coming soon, the recording, I wanted to get this out as soon as I could uh, possibly do that. This is the first recording. It's called Kinetic. That means that it has to be played with energy and as opposed to static. We start in third position and here it goes. Okay, so you start in third position, be very careful with the counting of the tight note. have to do that because there will be a, a big penalty for people that don't count. This is true for any audition, not just this one, but even uh, professional orchestra auditions. Tied notes have to be held absolutely exact. One more time, listen to it. When you go over here, there is a, a string crossing. Don't miss the B flat. Now, next thing. I would use open string, it's a little bit easier than uh, playing four. Okay. my stroke is a little bit off the string, as we call a brush, uh, sounds like wah 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 versus very short tak 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 or compl completely connected. So it has the endings and the let go. Now for the second one, you have to change keys. Okay, so now before you had one flat, now we have one sharp. Still, the half note gets the beat, it's 78, make sure you practice with metronome. Those are called hooked, just down down. It gives you better articulation than if you do it as it comes uh, or down up. So there is space on both sides of the eighth note. I played open string the first time, but maybe fourth finger will be better. Listen to it slowly again. Again, the tight notes you have to uh, wait and uh, maybe even stop the ball a little bit. Practice it this way. Stop. Stop. Notice the accents. A lot of people are going to play them. You have to play them. Stop. Now here is the third recording. It's two excerpts from Rossini, Barber of Seville. It uh, has a very specific style. It's very jolly, very happy, very pointy. In a sense, if you uh, think of Tom and Jerry, you will probably get the right uh, character. So you play the first excerpt, then you take a short breath, and then you do the second excerpt. <laughs> 
Both excerpts are in uh, two different tempos, so you know, have to know those tempos uh, and have to be able to play them one after another. So the introduction goes like this. Count before you start. One, two, three, four. Rex. Count, count, count. Rest. Low two. And then you will start the second one. I will go into the second one in a second. So as you notice, those notes that are off the string, they are done like this. Then decrescendo, and again, low one, now F natural F sharp, and again F natural F sharp. Now, next one is very fast, 138. And um, to be honest with you guys, uh, the violas have the hardest excerpt of all instruments. Uh, that uh, chromatic scale, 79 and 80, it's uh, very difficult. You have to know it by heart. Uh, your fingers have to move really quickly. You don't have time to think about it. Uh, so again, think about Tom and Jerry. Here it goes. In the beginning, that retake has to put an accent on the A flat. That's the strong note. And then piano. Then bite and go away. Bite. Now, now that chromatic uh, pattern. Once you uh, play the D string and the G string, you have four, three, two, one. So the fingers are right next to each other in half step. And then the next one you go and play two and one. That covers all of the chromatics on that particular string. Make sure that you know that. Okay, so you, uh, you can practice it by strings. Starts by uh, Start by ending it. Add one more note. Then go and uh, practice the next string. Then you connect it. Uh, so once you start at 79, don't forget the 1-1. One, one. Okay? That should be easy. And then you practice. You just, uh, your brain has to divide it so it makes sense out of it. I hope that helps. Happy practicing.